Hey Danny Ball here, founder of Songwriters International, where we help songwriters develop their craft and go on to achieve a career in the music industry. Now today, we're going to be talking about the two most important areas of songwriting. We're going to be taking a deep dive into those. And you might be asking me right now, well, what are they, Danny? And those are melody and lyrics, okay? The two most important things. If you can master these, you're gonna be well on your way to be writing some really strong songs. Your favorite songs will be attracting your attention through these two things. The songs that you write will be attracting listeners' attention through these two things. So like I say, when you can master this, you're well on your way to writing some really strong songs. So we're gonna be diving into that today. If you haven't already as well, hit that subscribe button, drop some comments below, and hit that like button, okay? So let's jump on into this video. So let's first of all start with the melody, okay? Why is melody so important? So let's first of all dive into melody. Now, why is melody so important to us as songwriters and song creators? Okay, it is so important because it's the hook of any song we are gonna write, okay? Now that could be a vocal hook or a musical hook. It could be a hook on a guitar, a piano, in the production stage, or like I say, with our vocal, okay? And that's how we attract the listener's attention quickly. Okay, through the power of melody. Now, if you don't have a catchy, repetitive melody that captures the listener's attention, you basically don't really have a hook in your song. And all the greatest songs out there consist of a great hook. Okay, that's one half of their song. It doesn't matter how good your production is, how good the rhyming structure is, how good the structure of your song is, how good the vocalist is. If you don't have a really strong melody, then you're not gonna be attracting listeners into your song. Now let's dive into the second thing and let's figure out why lyrics are so important. And the reason for that is because they are the story of any song you're gonna write. Okay, so if you're not writing lyrics to the best of your ability, if you're struggling, if you feel they're just not at the level that you want them to be, then that is gonna have a knock-on effect on the story within your song. And the listener will stay to the end if you can write a really strong story, okay? It should be progressive. It should go from start to finish and it shouldn't be repeating itself, okay? So if you can have a catchy, repetitive, hooky melody that draws in those listeners alongside a storytelling lyric, then you're gonna be well on your way to dragging those listeners into your song quite literally because they'll love what you're writing. Okay, so it's really important you get these two things right. Don't focus too much on the other areas. You know, people get really bugged down with, I can't play an instrument, or I don't produce, I'm not a vocalist, all these different things. It's not a concern, okay? Don't overthink those things. Get these two things right, and I would say it's 70% of songwriting. 30% is the other areas. If you can get these things right, then you don't have to worry about the other things too much. Now I wanna give you some best practices when approaching melody and lyrics, okay? Some tips that I've learned along my journey, tips that I give out to our students that I think will be valuable to you. So let's first of all start with melody. What I have found is a technique that I call a roller coaster, okay? Now let me explain to you what that is. The roller coaster is, uh, it's, it's making sure your melody is a journey. Okay, now with a roller coaster, you will get on it, and maybe for 15 or 20 seconds, it will have a journey which is quite straight and it doesn't move, and then it might flip up and it might drop you down, and then it might go back to a straight uh, ride and it might then jump up and down. That's the same thing you want to be doing in theory with your melody. It should maybe start off quite straight, doesn't move much, and then out of nowhere, it takes a listener on this big jump or a big jump down. Right? If you see your, your melody as a roller coaster, and when you're writing your melody, you know, when you're singing it out, if you're doing it vocally, what I do is I'll, I'll have my finger as if I'm writing uh, a roller coaster, right? So it might be da 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 da, which is quite straight. So I might go da 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 da. And you can see that little jump, right? And that's resembling the roller coaster theory that I use in every song that I write. Now, some best practices on the lyrics, okay? And I just alluded to this just a couple of minutes ago. 
but your story should always be progressive. Okay, this is absolutely crucial. If, if we're writing a song, and let's say in verse one, we are saying that, you know, we're writing a love song and the person we love, we're saying they're amazing, right? They're amazing, they look after us really well, they, they're the person you wanna be with for the rest of your life. That's what you're saying in verse one. Imagine then verse two, you're still in this phase of talking about how amazing they are. Then you're literally saying the same thing. So the listener thinks, well, I've heard this, but maybe you're just saying it in a slightly different way, which just turns the listener off. It gets a little bit too boring and too repetitive. So when you're writing your lyrics and look, look at the verse that you've written, look at the chorus and make sure you're not repeating yourself in any sections. If like as I've just said, you're writing a love song and you're saying in verse one, how amazing someone is, don't go ahead and say it again somewhere else in the song. If in the chorus you're saying, I love you, I love you, right? In theory, okay? Then don't go ahead and say it in the bridge because it's just gonna turn the listener off and your story will not be progressive. So that's the biggest, biggest thing when it comes to lyrics. So go ahead and start focusing in on melody and lyrics when you're songwriting. Like I've said before, if you can get these two things right, you're gonna be writing much stronger songs. You'll have hooky, repetitive, catchy melodies alongside storytelling progressive lyrics. And if you get those right, you will see just how much it changes your song. Like I said before, doesn't matter where you rhyme, doesn't matter how good your production is or anything else, doesn't matter how good your chord progression is. If you don't have those two things, you're gonna be massively lacking the listener's attention, okay? So go ahead, when you're writing the songs, focus your attention on these things before anything else. Have fun, as always. And if you haven't, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Drop a comment below for anything else you might like to see as well. And go ahead right now, in the description and in the comments, we've got a free training right now that you can go ahead and watch completely free, where I'll be diving you through some more techniques, tips, and tricks for you and your songwriting. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. All right, so that's been me, Danny Boyle, founder of Songwriters International. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you over on the next video.